In this video, I want to take a look at the reports. Click on the reports tab, and we're going to take a look at a request for a quote. Here's all of the material on the takeoff that I just did. Now I want to show you um, these property informations here, the quantity, units, type, total square, vendor, item number, and vendor price. You can add as many um, properties that you want in any, re any of the reports. And I want to show you how to do that real quick. You want to go over to your templates and let's take a look at the drywall part. Click on advanced to open it up. Now these are properties. Every one of these properties you can type in. You have to type in exactly the, the correct way that it's typed in here. But you can add any one of these properties to any of the reports um, that you want to. Okay. And let's take a look at the studs and click advanced. And the same thing here. These are property names. And if you want to know, if you want to see the on center spacing in a in a report, then you just type that on center spacing in the columns tab. And I'll show you how to do that. Now we'll go back to the reports. And we're going to go to the columns tab in the reports. And we're going to click the plus sign. We're going to add it here. And we're going to add the board size. Now make sure you type it exactly the same way it shows in the properties window there. Hit close. And now double click here. It opens the board size. Okay. And we might want to um, see the unit length. So let's add unit length. Okay. And while we're here, let's just go ahead and add a uh, total square. And we might want to um, add the total stud length. Okay, and then we'll just click, click uh, close it, and let's close this window so we can see a little bit more of our report, and double click here, just like in Excel, and it expands these columns. So now we have the board size, the unit length, the total square, the total stud length, whatever you want to see, you just put in there. And as well, you can take these and you can drag them around and put them in the order that you want to put them in as well. Okay. Just make sure that you keep it in line here so it don't jump back somewhere else. Okay. Um, now, let's take a look at the report. Let's take a look at the tough R. Three quarter inch tough R. We have 50 pieces. Now, if the price, when you open your report and the price doesn't show here, you want to just right click on it and click on sum. Now this will turn off the price. It turns off the price for all of these or right click and turn on the sum for all of these. This was a footer underneath this part. You can go up here and right click under quantity and you say group footers and you can turn off the footers. Now you don't have anything adding anything up. So if we had uh, four or five wall types in that job, it'll, it won't add it um, up for you unless you have a group by footers. So right click on this and group footers and then turn on the sum and it's going to add up all the material of that type. All right. The next thing we want to do here now is we want to export this report into Excel so we can email it to our vendor and get a price quote for this job. Highlight the name of the job. You want to save it in a folder where you know where it's at, obviously. Click Save. Now, I already have it in here, so I'm going to replace it. And Excel will open up. And now I have 
the report that I'm going to email to my supplier. It automatically expands all the material. Now we have the sub we've got the subcontract and we have the labor in here. So that's not a problem. What we want to do real quick is uh, maybe take out the subcontract, highlight and arrow down, uh, delete. You can modify this report any way you want to. Okay, and now we just have material here, and your supplier can come in here, and he can just add his price for inch and an eighth fine thread screws, or half inch regular drywall. And that concludes this video on a request for a quote report.